Hey Fruit Bass, it's really the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today I'm going to make a pizza. Yeah, a raw to four style pizza and it's going to be gluten free, yeast free, dairy free, low in sodium, low in fat, oil free. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be full of flavour. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start with the toppings. We have some baby beets here. They've already been cooked. There's a packet. It's um, no vinegar, no salt added, just baby beets. Got some tomatoes. Artichoke hearts. They're from a tin and they're really quite yummy. So I'm going to try them on a pizza. And we've got some organic corn, fresh corn. Some, uh, not sure what variety. Swiss brown maybe, mushrooms. Got some low sodium pizza sauce. You can make your own, but I wasn't too sure how to do it because I'm not much of a chef. But yeah, make your own pizza sauce if you want. We've got some chilies there, some pineapple, some basil, some red onions, peppers, red peppers, or we call them capsicum in Australia and England. Um, potatoes, organic potatoes. Um, some shallots, some wilted um, spinach and rocket or arugula. There it is. And then we have our pizza dough. Okay, this isn't specifically pizza dough. This is gluten-free, organ, all-purpose all plain flour. And the reason I got this one is because it's really low in sodium. So it's 10 milligrams per 100. And the ingredients are maize starch, tapioca flour, rice flour, vegetable gums, guar. That's it. So that's going in. All right, I'm just chucking that in. I would have got the other one, the pizza, specific pizza one, but it's just full of salt and I don't want that. Okay, here we have some onions. Okay, some dried onion and some dried Italian herbs. So I'm just going to add that in. Add that to the mix. I'm going to put some baking soda in and see how we go. In hindsight, adding some coconut sugar would have been a good idea to sweeten up the base a little bit. So add a couple of teaspoons if you like to. It's just an optional extra. So look, I'm not too sure how much water to put in, but I'm just going to put a little bit in because, you know, you can't take the water out after you put it in. So I'm just going to put a little bit in to start with. And then start pushing it around. Push it into the pizza tray. Okay, so here's our pizza dough. I've just done my best with it. Should be okay. I'm gonna chuck it in the oven now. Okay, put it away. And this one. So while you're waiting for your big pizza, you can make some little pizzas. There you have it. There's a little mini pizza. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, our pizza is out. Okay, it's been in the oven for 10 minutes. Now it's time to top it. So 
now we're putting it into the oven. Mm. So to crisp up the base a little bit, I took them off the pan. Okay, so the pizzas are out and they're ready to be cut. These are all for me. Ooh. Okay, so the pizza is made. It is a yeast-free low sodium, dairy free, gluten free, oil free pizza. So I ate a little bit in the kitchen already, but I'm going to eat the rest now. And you know, it's really nice. The base is really, really good. It's low in salt, as you know, 10 milligrams per hundred, which is super low. But hey, who wants to be all puffy? Who wants to be all bloated and puffy from excess sodium? So just Adjust your taste buds, get them used to eating low sodium foods because in the long run it's going to make you feel way, way better, trust me, and look better. So I'm going to eat this and I will see you on Monday. So have a great weekend, don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I will see you then. Cheers.